Hi everyone, this is Bidesh Salam from PS Media and in this video I want to talk about uh, Joomla Little Bot. I will be doing some Joomla video series. Yes, most of the beginner users like WordPress over Joomla. Joomla is easy to start, easy to learn for doing some company website, small website or WooCommerce online store. Yeah, but if you want to run some user user community or complex government website yeah something like yeah more complex robust than yeah developers prefer joomla and drupal yeah and Dr drupal is more difficult <laughs> than uh, joomla that's why joomla is a common ground between drupal and wordpress and well, Joomla was difficult before few years back, but now, like WordPress, Joomla ha also has many page builders. Using this page builder, we can design many beautiful, professional-looking Joomla websites. And with this robust content management system, it is easy to design a more complex, huge. Uh, contain websites so, uh, so it is important that uh, we also focus on this uh, Joomla content management system yeah it has less uh, user community and develop uh, third-party add-on extension development community uh, than WordPress but for security a more complex website Joomla is prefer. Yeah, among the content management system, most hack website yeah, is comes from WordPress. WordPress is more vulnerable for in terms of security. Joomla and Drupal are much better. Much better. That's why most government websites are either in Joomla or Drupal. You you not find uh, government website developed with WordPress, but uh, small scale uh, websites in small scale districts websites now many uh, such websites are developed with Elementor and WordPress, but highly modular mm -hmm. departmental government websites with lots of module and management for department or school college, university, uh, yeah for the user broad user base website for, for security and robustness they prefer developers prefer Joomla and Drupal yeah let's get uh, into the point uh, in my first in this video uh, let's start with how to change website title name let's go to the global configuration system global configuration here you can change the website name for example say Joomla demo so you can change the site name here you can save and close here like this and if you want to change how your site title or logo display and then you have to go to the extensions and templates here my current default template is uh, Zoom Safer Helix template, but yeah, let's go to the default B3 template. B3 template is default template that comes with Zoomla installation. And if you want to change here, let's go here uh, in the advanced. Here, if you want to change the site title and description that is shown in the front page here. If you want to change uh, this front page thing, then you can change here. But advanced uh, templates, uh, Joomla templates, have better option theme of the template options. Like for example, in this Helix template, free template, they provide theme options here, template options. Yeah, uh, they. 
in Joomla they call it template node team. So uh, yeah, here in the basics, you can change the logo here. You can select a media and change the logo for the header. It's quite convenient. It's uh, almost for designing part. It's, it's almost like WordPress now using this uh, template uh, frameworks, page builders. It's almost like WordPress. You are almost familiar, except for here uh, the uh, uh, different part is here. This MN panel, MN dashboard is more complex than WordPress. Here, user com, com user content components extension all these things are more yeah complex than WordPress. But complex means more options for flexibility for developers to design a more complex website. Like I did a video before about uh, Oxygen Page Builder versus Elementor Page Builder. Oxygen Page Builder is um, has more flexibility in designing complex layouts like that. More complex means l harder to learn, but for professionals, developers, it is their playground. They love this complexity because they, this gives them more room for development. Yeah, for beginners, it's okay. We can design using the Page Builders, even if it is Joomla or WordPress. Uh, I hope this introductory video is somewhat helpful to you and if you are interested about this Joomla video series then you can leave a comment below and I will do more about Joomla video. Uh, if you are not interested, not interested then I will do. Okay, thanks for watching again. I hope you enjoy it. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button.